This week's tip is all about augmented reality or AR. It's about getting your CAD models off of your computer and onto devices like your phone, tablet, or a HoloLens so you can share and review them like you've never done before. AR is a process of projecting computer generated images over the real world. And there are a lot of use cases in design, manufacturing, and service. PTC Creo 4.0 and 5.0 makes it easier than ever to get started with AR. During this week's tip, Matt Kluse is going to show you how to use Creo, specifically 4.0, to quickly generate published AR experiences that you can share via email. One of the things PTC has invested a lot of of time and money into recently is augmented reality. A lot of times when people see augmented reality, the common question is, how do I get started? The great thing about Creo 4 and Creo 5 is this functionality is built in. Today we're going to look at the functionality that's built into Creo 4, M10 through M30. We're also going to have another session as a follow-up to this that's going to cover Creo 4, M40, as well as Creo 5, because there's a little bit of a difference there. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick at how you can leverage augmented reality for free by using Creo 4. So what we have here is just a simple assembly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm going to the Tools tab. And you're going to see, if you're using Creo 4, M10 through M30, you have this augmented reality box here. And you have the opportunity to add a thing mark, publish the model, share the thing mark, as well as print the thing mark. So first thing to start, what is a thing mark? Thing mark is very simply just a visual cue for augmented reality. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this visual cue to the model so that I can go and look at this experience leveraging a cell phone, a tablet, those types of devices. So again, very easy to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just click add thing mark here. And you're going to see when we go and add it, we have an opportunity to go and change the location of it. So we can drag this up if we want. There we go. Just go ahead and drag this into place. There we go. We can go ahead and scale it if we want as well. So we can say, let's just scale this to 50. I can also choose to constrain it in different methods, but you know, this, is, this looks fine for, for sake of demonstration. Go ahead and hit OK. Now the next step to this is we have to go and publish this. So we would go and click Publish the Model. We can choose the name here. We choose the thing mark that we want to use to publish, and now we choose the view quality. We can do low, medium, or high. We'll just set it up as high. Now, typically, when you do this, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you for your login information, ptc.com. So every account registered with ptc.com gets the opportunity for free to have five experiences tied to their account. Now, the way this works is you would add thing marks to five different things. And then you would have those to be able to look at in augmented reality. Now, the minute that you created a sixth one, the first one would get flushed out and so on and so forth. So that's that's the free functionality that's tied into this. You can see we've gone ahead and published this. We're good to go. Now, what do you do? Well, very simply, what you would do is you would share this thing mark or print it out. If we choose to share it, what's going to happen is if you're using Outlook or that type of email client, you're going to see Creo is going to go ahead and open up an email. It's going to say, enjoy this augmented reality experience. It's going to include that thing mark, and it's going to give instructions on how to download the app whether you're using an Android or an Apple phone or a tablet, and then it's going to give you some instruction on how to view this. So again, very nice to be able to do that. If we wanted to go and look at the thing mark, we can do that. You're going to see it's the thing mark that we added to the model. So again, very straightforward. We can also print it directly out of Creo as well. So that's the email, that's the communication, that's the share of this. Now, what does this look like when you actually go and look at it on your cell phone? Well, let's take a look here real quick. So this is just a, a capture of my cell phone. We're looking at this thing mark here, and you're going to see there's that V10 frame. So we'll go ahead and click on that experience. You can see there was the five that I have tied to my account. And we should see there's the frame of that bike that we were just looking at inside of Creo. So to give you an idea, we're looking at it in augmented reality right now. And you can see... Here's the augmented, or here's the real CAD model next to it. So again, any phone, Android, Apple device, 
pretty straightforward. So what is the benefit of this? Well, besides looking cool, the opportunity to communicate design intent. You think of being able to communicate to your customers, suppliers, or vendors, what do you have to do now? You have to pack up models, you have to create step and I just files or a 3D PDF. Those are all very difficult. Instead, what you can do is you can add a thing mark, you can go ahead and share that, and they can download the app and view the model. Great way to communicate design intent, design review, just review things in general. Again, this functionality is tied to Creo 4, M10 through M30. As of M40, what PTC has done is they've replaced the thing mark just so there is a uh, spatial tracking tied to the model. So you don't even need the thing mark at all. They would just send a link, they would click on it, whoever you're communicating this with, and they would open up the experience in the view app. So as a follow-up to this, what we'll do is we'll go and show what that functionality looks like as of Creo 4, M40, and Creo 5. I hope this tip helps you get started in AR with Creo. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and give us a like. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments area below. Talk to you soon.